Hey everybody, it's your friend Waterdog here, and um, today I ran into a little bit of a problem with my TV. Um, I turned my PC on and it said no signal. And I use an HDMI cable to plug into my TV because I don't have a monitor yet. Because I spent all my money buying the PC. But um, I have a solution for this problem that I think a lot of people aren't touching up on. Because I looked online and there's not really a lot of good explanations for this. But like, this is probably a really common problem because it happened to me and so I bet it happened to a lot of uh, other people. So I'm going to go into a little bit of uh, tech and how this kind of works and how you fix it. So, a lot of the problem is, uh, with, when you're using a, uh, an HDMI cable or a VGA, I think is what it's called, which is a regular PC cable, um, the ports on the back of your computer plug into your graphics card. So this is the graphics card right here that I'm using. It's my 770 Ti. And so as you can see, I don't know if you can see very well, but the HDMI ports on the back are literally plugging in straight to that graphics card. So, after hours of being like frustrated and wondering what the heck's happened, um, I finally decided, you know what, I'm going to open it up, I'm going to look at my graphics card and make sure everything's alright. So, I looked at my graphics card, the first thing I noticed was, this light here on the right was red. And this one was green. So I said, well, why is this green and that's red? Well, this one was fully plugged in and this one was slightly pulled out. So, if one of them, I mean, it could be either one, so you want to make sure this is a really simple fix. You want to make sure these two cables are fully plugged in. And as soon as I plugged that in, I swear to God, it magically turned on. <laughs> it's all because it wasn't connected. So remember that all the ports that go to your TV or monitor come through your graphics card because that's what displays the image. All right, and it helps you know streamline the image and do a bunch of other things that make your computer faster. But you know it wouldn't. If your computer wouldn't run properly, I mean, it wouldn't work at all if it didn't have one. <laughs> so, um, so that's how you fix that, and watch, as soon as I boot it up, it'll turn on, but I'm not going to boot it up in this video, but just remember that, fix these two things, make sure they're fully plugged in, that's probably the biggest problem you'll run into, unless there's like a resolution scale problem, which, um, I think those would only happen with laptops, because sometimes laptops get screwy when you try to put them into a... Uh, TV um, using an HDMI. Now, if you're using it wirelessly, trying to plug it into a TV, like say you have like a uh, MacBook Air, and you're putting it into an uh, Apple TV, that could be one thing. So, like, I, I decided I was going to uh, do a couple other things about gra how graphics cards work in case this might help you. So, a lot of you, so a lot of people probably don't realize they aren't real big techies when you, this is the inside of the computer, by the way. If you didn't realize, I pulled out the, um, I pulled out the casing right there. But, so remember, all the ports come from from right here in the graphics card. And you see, there's multiple slots in this computer, which is another buying point of why I bought this computer. Because I have room for three, four, I mean, this thing right here is just a covering for it. I mean, so I probably have room for three, three, more, three or four more graphics cards in there. Which I, I doubt I'm going to put four graphics cards in there. Because it would make, one, it would make, I'd have enough frames already. It would it'd kind of be a waste of money. But I might put a... Well, maybe in a year or two, I might put an extra one in there. But always remember, so when you put these in there, uh, you got to make sure you uh, unscrew these so you can put slide your graphics card right in there. Um, if I ever do that, I'll make it another video. But I figured that would be an easy fix for you guys. Probably talk too long. But um, as you'll see right now, I'm going to boot it up. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll have another video coming out today. Thanks for watching.